Hello, we're gonna do a read for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Libra? Thank you so much for showing up, Libra. We're gonna call in your higher self, your spirit guides, ancestors. Please give us a clear guided message for Libra. What is coming towards Libra? Here we go. Maybe an offer of love. A little teeny offer of love's coming towards you. Maybe somebody has a crush on you. Somebody wants a new beginning, a new start. Or this is somebody new coming towards you, Libra. New energy for Libra. New energy. This energy coming in makes you feel like you belong. This feels like home to you. Whether this is a person coming back to rekindle or this is a new person, this feels like home to you. And for some of you, this has twin flame energy in it because the Four of Wands showed up, which is my particular card for that, more than the other ones, personally. If the other ones come out, then it gets even more solidified, but... Um, you know, Libra, you're letting go of control, okay? For some of you, you might have wanted, you know, you know, I, there's some some Libras I'm talking to, they're like on, on the sliding scale of obsessive compulsive, wanting control, wanting to like, if you're having a date, you want it in a particular way, you want to arrange it in a particular kind of way. You're like letting go of that. You're like kind of letting go of trying to make things happen in a particular way. Um, so you are moving into a higher state of alignment, letting go, going with the flow. And uh, because of the control aspect that you were kind of dealing with, it was hard to make decisions. There was like over like analysis of paralysis going on in the past for you. So that's kind of like you're letting that go. Okay, and you are allowing yourself, you're kind of walking into the darkness. You're walking into the fear, you're walking into the unknown, which I actually feel like this is good for you. Let's see what the near future holds. Ooh, Tower wanted to show up as well as the Eight of Cups, so, huh. A surprise release? I don't know. What? It's, it's love. It's love. Maybe some of you guys are like leaving something, moving towards something else. I'm kind of getting that energy. Um, letting go of an emotional tie, letting go of needing control, letting that all fall away, and here comes love. You might be making a love offer to somebody. Somebody might be coming towards you in love. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the Knight of Cups. This is a Romeo situation. And um, Page of Cups and Knight of Cups, it feels very new or somebody very young could be a Sagittarius. You are in a very balanced state. It's interesting because the energies today were kind of, for me personally, felt like I had to like keep going back into heart space, keep going back into present moment. Like there was just a little bit more triggering than I'm, I've been having. So, but then the two reads that I posted were very balanced. So. It's a good day to be an air sign, I guess. Or having air in your chart, or it's just a good day. Maybe it's like the struggle of the mind, the tower, the releasing, the letting go, the letting go of control, breathing through it, moves you into a state of balance, temperance, when those, it's almost like when those thought forms come up, you no longer let them get you, you no, no longer play out the drama of the program, of the mind, of the control freak, so to speak. Libra, you're in a very balanced state, and in this balanced state, you're walking into the unknown. Walking into the unknown manifests love, manifests union, manifests an offer of love. ships are coming in Libra your ships are coming in and you're not trying to push it you're releasing you're letting go you're walking into the unknown you don't know what's coming in but it's coming in someone's coming in 
Someone's coming in, somebody wants victory, somebody wants a new beginning. A lot of wands, a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. What does this one want to say? You're... Hmm. Okay, someone's coming in, <laughs> Knight of Wands. Someone's coming in very passionately, very quickly. I'm gonna clarify this with a few cards. This is an energy, this is interesting. Okay, if you know this person coming in, if this is a divine counterpart, you know, one of those twin flame relationships with the four of wands. If that is the case, um, this, is, this time they're not coming in as a projection. They're not coming in, they're coming in to stay. Okay, you're you're afraid of the communication in a sense. If it's this this same person, if it's a twin counterpart, you're like, uh, I don't not want communication. You have a little bit of fear around the communication, or you have a little bit of fear of of there being no communication. For some of you, random, you have a fear of traveling right now, um, moving too quickly, because whatever direction you're going in, it's like. You're kind of going in, not blindfolded, but kind of in the dark and following a very small illuminated light, like the moon. You're moving into like a receptive mode of feminine energy. You're kind of embracing that feminine energy and allowing sort of like God to come in and be with you, right? Allowing your soul to come in and take over, um, receptive to who you really are. There's, there's like letting go of control, moving into a balanced state, manifesting love, manifesting a heart spaced love. And the Knight of uh, Wands comes in as a final card. If someone's going to come in passionately, but with the, but they're not coming in with fear. Um, and they're not going to leave, okay? If this is a new person, same, same. If, what is this whole thing about for Libra? What is this whole thing about? Is this something that you, you do get conflicted about? Maybe it is relationships, you just, it, you, you got kind of a dynamic within your mind about relationships. This might be somebody you do have fights with or you have a lot of internal conflict about this person. This person could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. As well as this. For some of you, there's it's just the relationships have been hard. Um, maybe. They've made you feel possibly out of control. They've wounded you in the past. Maybe this particular relationship has wounded you in the past. Communication continues, but it brings in conflict within your mind or maybe fighting even between the two of you. But you are healing this energy. And it's really by letting go of control, letting the soul do what it wants to do, moving into divine faith, healing. There's a lot of healing going on, healing anxiety. What does this person want to say to you? Mask off. This person is coming in, no fear, no bullshit, in their truth, knowing what they want. Their true self is being projected. You're always on their mind. Whether you know this person or not, this is somebody who um, is making plans, who wants to be with you. There's no more drama. If there was drama in the past, they're not coming in with that energy. They're not coming in. They're not going to run away. Your energy is not going to conflict with their energy to make them repel. It's like you can think of it as like it's a soulmate situation, right? Um, a divine counterpart situation. It's a return of your soul back to yourself. And so when you are in illusion, when you're in fear, the soul will, will repel because you can't come into union in the midst of duality, which has fear 
um, in, in it. <laughs> so um, you're in that, this is similar to Gemini. There's similar energy. Check out the Gemini read if you have Gemini in your chart. Um, let's do the Four of Wands. You're surrendering. <laughs> There's nowhere to run when it comes to when your soul wants to awaken. There is nowhere to run. You live a life of surrender and you are realizing this. That this twin flame dynamic or this dynamic of your soul returning to itself, moving into unification. There is no running. There will be cataclysms. There will be tower moments. There will be ego deaths and until you release and surrender. There is no running. Even the runner can't run because they're you. You can't run. You can't chase them by running away from God. You know what I'm saying? You're coming into that realization. What does the moon card represent here? What's the clarification for the moon card? The high priestess, you're walking into the unknown. You're holding the hand of God, holding the hand of divine, and you're walking into the dark. There's a little trepidation. There's a little fear, but there's more faith. There's faith and desire for God over fear. And over addiction. Beautiful, Libra. Let's clarify the seven of swords. The seven of coins. Yes. So this is sort of like, this is paying off. You are learning how to balance out your energy. When your ego or mind is triggered due to whatever it is that the soul brings on to show you the patterning that no longer suits that is not you that is not the soul it is working you are seeing the conflict you are seeing the duality even within your mind one thought in your mind is the angel the other thought in your mind is the devil and they're fighting with each other or you're or you're again living out a situation of trauma in the past or something that triggers you and then the ego starts to loop and be conflicted a lot of times due to communication from your Divine counterpart, if that's the case. The divine counterpart being not a romantic relationship, but being the catalyst of your soul awakening. For some of you, maybe it isn't a divine counterpart. Maybe it's just a new relationship coming in, a new person coming in, but you still have like residual. They're coming in because you're in a balanced state, essentially. There's no conflict, and so you can um, manifest a soulmate. So let's do the Queen of Wands. The nine, no, I need just one, please. Luck improving, five of coins in reverse, yes. So you're moving into your groove. You're, there's positive changes and there's recovery going on with you. There's a new beginning, there's an offer of love. It's baby steps here with the knight of cups, page of cups, baby steps, knight of wands. But you are not in baby steps you are in divine timing you are in divine faith temperance divine patience waiting for your ships to come in in the most patient and knowing and faithful way it's really really good energy libra i really really like it let's let's go ahead and um clarify Well, the Knight of Swords in in reverse, you're being patient with any kind of communication coming in. If the communication ends up sticking and staying in there and they're great, that's great. If not, you're not worrying about it. I want another clarification for that one. Okay. In the midst of your fear of change, um, in the midst of avoiding, what is this saying? See, these have the words on them and I can't help but read them, but it's not always how I interpret it. It's not always how I interpret these cards, but anyway. Avoiding the inevitable liberation. Okay, so there is no, there's liberation coming. You are liberating yourself through aligning yourself with the divine. And you've realized here in the subconscious is coming out, like you, there is no hiding from your soul. There is no hiding from this liberation. And so it's almost like, all right, I surrender. I, I've been exhausted. I'm ready to heal. And I, you know, I'm not going to try to control this anymore. 
This is a path of surrender. Please clarify the Knight of Cups, the Page of Swords. Curious, clever, and chatty. Someone's talking to you a lot. Someone's communicating with you a lot. Someone has heart space for you. Someone has heart space for you. Eight of Wands in reverse. Give me a card for that. This is somebody... This could be somebody who's really... Like an earth sign. I'm getting an earth sign for a lot of you. Virgo, Capricorn, and... There's somebody who can kind of move back and forth between being extremely materialistic to being very grounded. Like, it's kind of like it has both faces, this person. Again, grounded. So this person... Sometimes you may have perceived them as grounded, successful, doing well financially, but also like overly materialistic. Um, and because they have already established, they're already established in a sense, um, for some of you in what they do, um, it makes them move slow. Um, or you perceive them as moving slow. I don't see them moving slow in this read at all. Um, it's just sort of like a little bit of a fear you seem to have is like, well, if they already have everything going on, then do they need me? You know, it's like an over analysis of fear. So it's like whatever you're afraid of when it comes to this person you know, are they compatible? If it's a new person, are they compatible? Or are they not compatible? I, I need to know. I need to get a tarot reading. Like all those mental loops, you're surrendering with a new person. If it's the old person, whatever fears you had towards them, it's like you're not trying to talk your mind into believing something different. You're just getting out of the mind altogether so it stops bothering you. You know, you're liberating yourself from the monkey mind, literally. And it's really bringing you into this beautiful state of peace. Mask off, mind off. Always on my mind. Thoughts and memories constantly cycling in the mind. It's just another, like, I do think that, that they think of you all the time, this person. And it's also saying, like, we're taking off the mind now. We're taking off the loops. We're trusting the divine. All right, tell me more for Libra. What else do you have for Libra? Peaceful resolution. You are moving into a state of peace. Let go. Again, it's just letting go. Going into the unknown. You don't know where this relationship's going to lead you. You don't know where spirit's taking you. But you know there is no other way. That your soul is essentially liberating you. And there's nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? It's like that path of surrender. It's the realization that your soul's the one who's in charge here. In the near future, whatever question that you're wondering about, it's going to happen in the near future. <laughs> no. In the near future, no. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know what the no is for. I was like, in the near future, no. Oh, okay. So for some of you, if you're in the uh, twin flame dynamic, you know, you will align with divine timing. Um, it You will move more into a state of abundance and forgiveness. There's all these blessings coming in. And um, maybe in the near future, it's more like you don't get to know because you are on this beautiful walk holding hands in soul, divine, God consciousness, merging with your truth. The masks come off. The real shows up in another person, in this person. There's forgiveness. There's abundance in this. And there is no near future. Um, it's perfect timing. It's also now. It's already been done. Not to sound too woo-woo, but that's where we're going. I'm going to do some romance angels, even though... Wedding. Separation. 
There's duality for you. Chemistry. Some of you guys are leaving one situation to move into another. Some of you guys are in separation, but it's going to lead to a wedding. This is a spiritual relationship. It's asking you to free yourself. What you're freeing yourself is from your mind in order to come into a state of balance, which you already are doing. And it's working. It's working. But it's not like... In the near future, it's all going to be settled. It's this beautiful, it's like you win, Libra, when you can walk into the darkness in complete faith in God and your soul and stay in that place of peace that surpasses all understanding. That's when you win what it is that you want. It's that peace. It's the love. It's that divine bliss, oneness, unity, isness that you are actually searching for and you it takes time to convince the mind that this is you to so that integration i really really like this let me know if this resonates if you'd like a personal reading my information is down below in the description box they do start as low as 33 dollars for a recorded 15 minute read and um Thank you so much for showing up. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you a lot of love. Libra, take care.